right guys so i just want to show you my nails this is what i did to them um i had a little inspiration from i think probably pinterest or instagram the girl had red in the middle which it looked really cute on her nails she had like the stiletto shaped nails which i don't um i did the red last night did not like it so i put pink instead staying true to my authentic self and I actually really love it. I just use a dotting tool. If you guys want me to show you how I did this, I definitely can. It is almost like, you don't even have to be beginner proof. Like, this is super, super, super easy and I like it. But I felt like documenting it and showing you, in case you want to do this for like Valentine's Day or anything, um... Tried doing acrylic nails last night. I practiced and, oh, that's not easy, but we're going to get there. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing like... A bunch of different nail designs for valentine's day for like super simple easy like beginners let me know if you guys want to see that and i would be more than happy to do that for you but yeah i just i gotta get ready for work but i wanted to show you the nails and then i'll film a little bit like i get ready with me tomorrow but yeah guys have a good day hi guys i know the lighting's really crappy right now but I just got out of the shower. I'm going to paint my nails. And today, by the time you see this, it will be probably the day after. I don't really know. If I put it up today, wow, I'll be shocked. But today is my birthday. I am 30 years old today, which is really weird to say. Um, I'm not in my 20s no more. And this one was like, I'm a big birthday girl. But this birthday was is a little, I mean... It hasn't like really happened yet. We haven't done anything yet, but it's like a little bittersweet to me because I'm going out of my 20s into my 30s now and it's kind of weird. I feel like it's not old because I look at other people and they're like d way older than me and I don't look at them as old anymore like ever, but me, I just feel like, wow, this is, it's really weird to say like when people ask me, how old are you? I'm going to be like 30, 30 guys. And for my 30th birthday, which I will be filming some of it, um, what, uh, hair, um, for my 30th birthday, you guys may think, oh, you're doing a dirty 30, you're gonna have, a, like, a big party and all this stuff, or you're gonna go travel and do this, no, for my birthday this year, um, I wanted to do something just really chill, fun, we're going out to dinner, but we're also going to a place where it's, like, laser tag, glow um I think it's like glow in the dark putt putt um it is skating so I mean no matter how old you get obviously I'm still a little kid at heart but I think stuff like that is really fun um I'm very excited to see where life takes me in my 30s 20s were definitely like this like um crazy but I've had some amazing times in my 30s and I don't want to get like too sentimental but yeah um that is the plans for today. I, like I said, I'm going to do my birthday nails. I have a really cute pink shirt picked out for tomorrow. I think I'm going to just like go all out. I'm going to curl my hair. Like I'm going to do the really small curling iron. And then I might do, I want it to be voluminous. So that's what I'm going to do. I will film that. Um, what else? Normally, I like to just go shopping on my birthday, which that's still a possibility. I might go shopping depending on the time because when we go out, um, when we go to like the one place for the skating and the glow in the dark golf, um, what else? Like, like I said, laser tagging. There's one other thing and I'm just missing it, but I'm really excited to go there. And funny enough, Caroline's birthday is next week. And I'm almost positive that we are going to do the same thing. So I will film like my cake and everything. Because every year, Brian and I, we've been doing this since we've lived together. Actually, probably before we lived together. But I'm huge on celebrating holidays. Um, and I love celebrating you. Um, if anyone around me, like, they know that. Like, I think I even go like a more, I've always went like, crazy. I don't know. I just love celebrating people. So Brian, I feel like he does that too with me. I feel like he, I've rubbed off on him in that sense. Uh, so like we'll come downstairs. It's just like for Christmas. All your gifts are right there. There's balloons, there's cake and, um, cards and all that. So it's really fun. It's really cute. I do that for him. We'll do it for Valentine's day. So this year for Valentine's day, I'm, I want to get something for, this is our first year married as, 
for well this is our first valentine's day married as a couple i don't know why i'm going off for my birthday to this but this is what i do um i want to i have he's not gonna watch this so i got him a pair of shoes air force ones for valentine's day that's the only kind of shoes he wears i sent them to my brother's house so i would not be tempted to tell him so i'm gonna do that but I want to do something like cutesy, maybe like a canvas picture for a room or something of a picture from our wedding. Um, I think I'm going to go do something like with that route. Carol Ann actually guessed, which I'll put it in this, I'll put it in like this video if, I'll put it at the end, maybe. I have like a couple little clips and I, I did really cute nails so I want to show you guys those. But for Caroline's birthday, her it is next week. It's on the 11th. Um, what I got her was, she's not going to watch this. I'll tell her not to watch it. I got her a pair of shoes she's really wanted. I'm almost positive these are what she's wanted. Because I'm going to feel real stupid if I got her the wrong ones. Then I'm getting her a tattoo. So that's something that I wanted to get her for her birthday was a tattoo. So she is going to get that from our tattoo guy and what else did i get her i think i'm gonna get her like a book of with just a bunch of pictures of us in it um i feel like i got that for jacob i've got it for grant and she loved it she loves stuff like that so i do believe i'm gonna get her that for her birthday and like i said then there's valentine's day and then grand's birthday which i'm really i don't know what to do for grand's birthday so i'll have to figure that one out so much going on in February and then our trip is at the end of the month so I'm really excited about that um my cousin K uh Frank will be going Caleb Jacob me his girlfriend Brian and Carol Ann and it is such a long overdue like trip I am ready to just throw my phone on do not disturb and completely relax um my last job I had any vacations we went on like I ran this business, so I felt like when I wasn't at work, I was still at work, and I don't feel like I could 100% completely just relax while I've been on vacation. So with this other job that I have now, um, I don't run this business. I just clock in, clock out, go home. That's it. So, well, there's more to it than that, but um, so that'd be nice that... I can like really, really relax. Uh, Tasha, we'll talk about the dogs. Why not? I'm going to just keep doing my nails though. Tasha will be going to my mom and dad's while we're on vacation. And I got to get my purple. Hopefully I don't knock the camera over. Yeah, Tasha will be going to my mom and dad's for our trip. Um, Brian's mom will take care of Coco and Bailey. That's how it usually works out anyways. Especially now though with um, like Tasha's health and everything. There's She needs to have care like more than the other two. Like she's definitely more maintenance than the other two are. So yeah. That's that. Um, Tasha's doing really really well. I am so thankful. Um, her, she takes her meds really good for me and everything like that. So really happy with that. Uh, the other two dogs are doing really well. They all have a birthday coming up in April. So, you know, we celebrate that. There's this dog bakery around us that they do really cute birthday cakes and that. And I think I'm going to get them that. So, that's the update. Not too much to, like, update on the dogs. Um, They're all just, like I said, they're all doing really well. And, yeah, I'm definitely excited for our trip. Normally, we go to Hocking Hills. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but you can look it up. Um, Hocking Hills, they have really nice cabins and everything. But this year, we wanted to kind of just go a different route. We really didn't. I'll film it when we get there and everything, but we did not do a cabin this year, so. Okay, so I got pink. I think I might do, normally I think about this. I'm going to do two cheetah print on this one, some glitter, maybe just one pink on this one, and my thumb will do purple. Look at that. I picked it out that quick. 
yet, but I'm so excited for her trip. And then we're thinking about going back to Florida for our anniversary in June. That's still kind of up in the air, but I'm pretty sure we're going to. So definitely excited about that. What other kind of updates do I have for you guys? I haven't filmed for, for like six days. My goal was to film like and put a video out every day in February. Well, <laughs> I failed that already, but you know, it's okay. Better late than never. Actually, yeah, I am going to upload this video um, on my birthday. So when you're watching this, it's my birthday and then I'll have to do like a part two. So it's not like too, too long. But in the video, I did show some really cute nails I did for like Valentine's Day, kind of very easy stuff. And I just hit my nail. I've been really inspired lately to do really cute nail art. Um, I just wish I was like super good at it, but we'll get there. Practice makes perfect. Speaking of, which throws me into this next thing, Brian got me this nail kit because um, I want to really learn how to do like acrylic nails. And I asked him if he would please let me practice on him and he let me he's a he's a real peach for that one obviously we took it off but um this is the set I got I don't know if you guys do acrylics or anything any tips or tricks but it's hard it is not easy <laughs> I watch videos um I feel like I just need to go slower but that is uh not the easiest thing in the world to do people in videos make it look super simple and everything and um far from it guys far freaking from it I got the tea and downstairs it's literally like 3 in the morning but it's cool because Brian's off tomorrow and I get to sleep in so I'm really pumped about that but anyways guys I'm gonna wrap this video up thank you all if you've stayed and listened to me ramble and everything I just wanted to say because I know you guys are all I know all of you guys are gonna leave super sweet comments and wish me a happy birthday some of you already have so thank you so much and I will vlog my birthday for you guys and let you see what we're doing and I'll show my nails for the next video so stay tuned and I will talk to you guys later Brent <laughs> okay so anyways today is my birthday and like I told you in a previous vlog this is kind of what we do with each other I got my balloons I'll show you guys but super cute um super cute cake he got me now here's a backstory is it like a midwest thing we have a store called Meyer. yeah and they sell some really beautiful cakes. This is for years upon years upon years. Brian and I have got them for each other. And Brian goes there. They have remodeled recently. He went there three different occasions. Bless his heart. And first time he went there, nobody was there. Second time he waited over 30 minutes. And then the third time they told him they needed oh, no. way in advance yeah, to I waited, make. I waited 30 minutes the second time for them to be like, no, nobody's there. Like, rudely, like, just kind of, like, F off and leave us alone. Hold up. Pause. Yes, so, if you hear a little, that's our dog drinking. Okay, oh, yeah. so, he had to go to Walmart to get my cake, um, to make my super long story short. Well, I went to Walmart to see if they could make one. Yeah. They couldn't make one for a week. Yeah. So, he improvised. He bought a cake from them. And then he bought another Cheap. one. And then he painted he frosted the pink, did the little pink up here, and did it around here. And honestly, I thought that that's what he bought me. And I was like, this is so cute. And I, I was like, color scheme, and well, I asked him, I said, oh, so you went with like a mermaid thing, you know? No, but that's really funny. It's really this cute. This one was. But this one was just straight brown for chocolate. I love it. Was it cheap? Like cheaper than? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because normally... Like I said, your one cake at Meyer, like when I have a make, it's like twenty, twenty five. Yeah, like and that's that. the thing, the cakes at Meyer, they're very they're to me so cheap for what they are. Yes, like, which they should be more, yeah. honestly. But I was but always shocked because this year I looked at the prices on their little thing. It was like forty something dollars for a cake like this size. Yeah, which is no, what I normally get. That's you know, enough. I think it's usually a little bit bigger, but and then he got me a gift card. Funny story. I told him, I was like, if you give me anything, you know, I, Ulta gift card's always good because I like to buy my makeup in that from there. He thought I said Sephora. No, no, no. See, the See? first time she said Ulta, and then the second time she brought it up, I said, which one was it, Ulta or Sephora? She said Sephora, not Ulta. 
I wrote it down in my phone. Even. I said, he, I said the other oh, way. But anyways, Ulta's on here. So that's cute. And then I told you guys in my previous video, I was working on doing acrylic nails. So I got the tips to do those. Did you tell them the story? Oh, about how I horribly failed. I tried. Yeah. He got me watch bands. And then got me some of my lemonade stuff, some nail glue. And then I got the dehydrator and all that for the nails. That's something I didn't have. I bought her an all-in-one kit that didn't come with everything you needed. Yeah. And then I really wanted this watch band. Super cute. Gonna put that on my out my watch. I had a matching phone case, but um I can't use that phone case because what's it do it holds your power button. yeah it holds my power button and then i got this because i go through these like crazy and now let me show you my balloons that he got me and then these are my balloons how freaking precious i'm a on oh, my little balloon arch i'm a huge person on balloons so 10 out of 10 baby